All right, guys. So, I watched my last uh, my chapter one. Sorry, this is uh, the assignment, Joseph. the Evil Within, the assignment Joseph. DLC. <clears throat> Shit. The assignment DLC. Uh, Kuriyami Plus, all well, letter scraps, just all audio himself. tapes, Gotta all documents, all snails, and Leslie. all soundtracks. Um, or snails slash models is what they are. Um, so, um, in addition, I watched my last videos and I realized that the audio levels were kind of off. My voice was a little too quiet, so I'm talking louder now. Hopefully, that won't be an issue and I'm not blowing your ears out. Um, what we're gonna do is, uh, you, obviously you come through this wall, and, uh, you start to, uh, you know, just go on down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch all the, uh, cutscenes and stuff as well. His name was Ruben Victoriano, but now he exists as Rubik inside the encephalon of Stena. Ruben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system by himself, but we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened to him? Reuben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting the wrong people. Ruvik, he knows I'm here. So like I said, I'm just gonna shut up for any sort of cutscene or anything like that. And uh, we're gonna keep on going down here. Now, uh, this enemy you don't need to kill, and I'm not gonna kill him. That way you guys can have an extra axe in case something goes to shit a little later. Uh, or certain methods don't work out for you, you still have that axe to use um, if you need it. Uh, this first enemy, you don't need to kill. The second enemy, uh, I don't know if you need to kill him, but we do uh, because we uh, we want to get the audio tape without any possible co consequences. Uh, plus, it doesn't matter because you can only hold one axe at a time. <laughs> so, uh, here's our first enemy here. Uh, first we're gonna get another soundtrack, uh, but we're gonna pick up that axe as well And I think I do mess up a little bit to where he sees me, but I, I hide and he uh, uh, Goes back to his normal path Now if he's doing a triangle path like he is right now, which is he goes left to the ramp right uh, But yeah, see I think this he see, sees me a little and uh, it screws up his path slightly. So just wait behind this. Yeah, see, so he's like, wait, where'd he go? Um, if he does a triangle path, uh, essentially to get past him, just follow, go, go behind him, whatever path he ends up taking. Uh, so like if he's on this side and he starts walking toward the ramp and then he's going to turn right after that, like he does right now, then you can just go, like you could be going right now up the ramp and you'd be good uh, but before you do that again we're gonna go get the soundtrack and you want to get that axe before passing him here I think he's gonna part path back and forth or uh, no I think he's doing a triangle pattern so if you already got yeah he's going back and forth um, so you can do it from here if you want if you already got the axe in the soundtrack as soon as he turned around there you could have went up the ramp because he always turns away from the ramp so they won't see you. Actually, no. It looks like he turned toward the ramp there. But it's not its not difficult at all. Just as soon as, you know, get him close to you in this kind of situation and then just go. But we grabbed that axe. And as soon as he turns away, we're actually going to keep going down this water area behind these panels. And right here is going to be a soundtrack. I already collected it. But it's, uh, it, you should be okay. Uh, uh, it should be right here and you will need to pick it up. And then, of course, be careful when returning. Uh, so we're going to use our peeking method. We're going to wait till he turns around, and we're going to get back to that first. There we go. We're going to get back over here. And so now I think we're going to be on. Uh, use the. We're going to try and use the left side, but his path. Uh, his path uh, isn't permitting him permitting us to do that. So we're going to do it from the right side. So he's looking right at me, and as soon as he turns, I'm going. And then just stay crouched through the whole way. By the time he turns around again, you should be out of his line of sight. Alright, so uh, go through this door. Sometimes it opens automatically, sometimes it doesn't. We already have an axe right now. And notice there's another axe there. 
I, I keep saying axe. Hatchet. Those are hatchets, Quentin. Come on. All right, so come on over here. Hide here. Don't hide uh, necessarily uh, at the end there. I usually hide here. And be careful of those cans on the ground. You don't want to kick one of those and alert the enemy. But hide here and wait for the enemy to show up. Again, you have to be peeking out and using your light to see them. There he is. And as soon as he... There we go. He turned around. So now we're going to go, and we're going to be careful of the cans. Now, you do have plenty of time. You really do. So don't worry about being too quick. So after we kill him, we're going to go back and get the other axe. Um, I, I've never seen this guy grab anyone. I don't know if he does. Uh, I'm careful about it regardless. <laughs> But we're going to get this axe. There we go. And so we're going to... Now we're going to go get an audio tape. Uh, directly across the hall next to the uh, next to the thing you have to turn is another room uh, uh, with an audio tape inside. There is some haunted on the floor. Uh, I do not suggest touching them. Again, I don't know if they grab you. Uh, just better safe than sorry. So we're going to grab this audio tape and listen to it. Something else is even more harrowing. Our subjects are dying. They come out from a stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic, babbling, incoherent messes that we can't properly interview. We've done nothing to the process to cause this change. It must be the ever-growing collective consciousness of the stem system. These patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure. We need more sane subjects. Perhaps to cleanse the system. At its current state, the system is unsustainable. Something Mobius will not approve of. This time, only I am to blame for this. Our new prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. There we go. <clears throat> I really like Jimenez's tapes. I think so we're gonna move out here and we're gonna get down to the next area. turning this and that's kind of why this turning this is why you need to kill the first guy uh, I'm, I'm fairly confident you could probably sneak behind him and turn this and by the time he notices you can run off this this ladder but uh, don't even worry about it we're gonna walk through the water and walk through uh, this tunnel here there we go we're gonna see Madame Zaiha not like me So, here we are uh, with uh, Madame Thai Hai bringing some haunted and turning them into these creatures whose names I forget. Um, uh, you're going to see a slight transfer. I think it's kind of flawless, actually. Um, here, all you, the, the enemies always come from the same area. So, if you want to watch this video and be like left, right, left, right, you can do that. Uh, it, it, this is fairly straightforward. I heard some people saying you got to shoot Madame Thai Hai. Don't bother, just shoot the enemy. So we're gonna shoot this one right up the front, of course. There we go. And then we're just gonna shoot them when we can. We don't have that perfect aim here. If they blow each other up, even better. Uh, and they really only come from those two areas, left there, right there. If you see a haunted, shoot him in the leg. Suck at aiming like me, shoot him in the leg so he falls down. They always fall forward, then you can shoot them in the head. 
uh, once or twice. Because trying to shoot them in the body, wasting ammo, that kind of thing. Also, regarding regarding reloading, there's always kind of a lull in between. Notice shooting him in the leg and then shooting the head. His head didn't explode, so I went for another round because I knew he was still alive. And uh, really just reload management is here. It shouldn't take you, you shouldn't ever run out of ammo. Notice I even missed that shot. Shooting him, shooting him. If they're white, you, they take two shots. See, uh, one to turn red. See, shot him in the back, leg, shot him in the head. He's not dead yet. I noticed that he wasn't dead yet and I knew there was going to be guys coming from the left. Oh, sorry, he wasn't. Um, so again, we're doing that. And just keep looking left and right, and it's not that bad. Just try and, uh, you don't even you don't need your shots to be that accurate. Just go for center mass on these guys, and they will explode. If they're white, you have to shoot these. Now, with her, shoot her in the chest. Don't bother going for the legs or the eye. Just shoot her in the chest, and you're good to go. And go figure. That's exactly when you run out of ammo. Now she's able to get out. Alright, so we're gonna get to uh, I've gotta find him. So now we're gonna get a uh, 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 another letter scrap. Uh, this is uh, this is kind of like those old code locks you had at school. Uh, left, right, left, or wait, right, left, right. Uh, but you don't you don't pass it twice like you did on the locks of school. So you go over to this pillar, 2, 15, 10. Okay. And then you go back to the safe over here. Beautiful. And so we turn it counterclockwise. Sorry. We turn it clockwise to 2. Clockwise to 15. And count... Uh, 16, sorry. And clockwise to 10. Or whatever the numbers were. You know, I stand corrected. I'm sorry. Two, yeah, yeah, two, fifteen, ten. I just went to sixteen. Two, fifteen, ten. So it's clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise for those three numbers. The numbers will be different each time. So we got the letter scrap, and there's nothing else up here, so we can hop on down. <clears throat> All right, and we're gonna get another uh, in-game uh, rendered scene, if you will. And about the others, I told you before, completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, you know what to do. Gorgeous. You know what to do. And then we're gonna go on down, and we're gonna climb this ladder. Uh, I have a really good strategy uh, for the next part coming up. Uh, the next two parts uh, should be duplicatable, but first, we're going to save, and I'm going to see you in the next video.